I-751 removal of conditions. So this has always been a headache when you're dealing with removal of conditions. This one got worse with the delays. Thankfully, they've made it so that the receipt that they give you extends the residency for another, I don't know, 18 months, uh, acts as a green card. But that's always a problem because some employers don't understand the receipt acts as the green card extension. Or people are traveling abroad and they want to come back on a plane and the airline says, I, I don't accept this paper as a green card. It doesn't make sense to me. Or they don't have the original I-751. They have a copy of it and the airline doesn't accept it. So that's a nightmare uh, if that happens. Now, what's happening a lot now is they're taking a while to cash the checks, which is not much you can do about that. But also, the receipts don't come sometimes. So people file it, the, check, the check is cashed. And nowadays, I mean, they used to stamp the checks to have a receipt number on it. Uh, I've been getting a lot of checks stamped where it doesn't have the receipt number on the back of it. Uh, so what do you do? Well, you could go on the e-request system on USAIS.gov and request uh, and send a contact saying you want a receipt. On the e-request, uh, where I ask for a receipt number, you could type in L-I-N and then uh, zero, zero, let me count how many zeros it's supposed to be, whatever the receipt code that typical USAIS has, but it looks like three, six, nine, I might be, not be reading this right, but like nine digits. LIN as in Lincoln, Indiana, Nora, nine digits, then to provide the A number and all the information for contact and records and info, and then uh, submit it, and you'll get a confirmation and probably get the I-7, I-7 notice uh, in the mail, uh, you know, for an 18 month, 18 month extension uh, after seven or 10 days. Uh, along with that, the biometrics notice. So I had a couple of 751 cases where it's been six months, eight months where no biometrics notice have happened. So I actually did this process and then all of a sudden in the mail we got a letter along, uh, you know, different envelopes by the same day. Uh, not only was it a new receipt that they resent us, so it's just I'm like, okay, we have two receipts now. But they also, also got a notice that said because they had the biometric fingerprints still on file from the original adjustment of status, they don't need to do a new biometrics. And my worry had been that they sent a biometrics appointment notice that we didn't get. So a client might have missed it. And I don't want to go into the denial for no reason because of missing a biometrics appointment or something like that. But uh, that's the way they're handling it right now. They're not giving biometric notices and not letting you know the reason why until you hammer them on it.